with uh, Cunningham and I call member for Dunkley. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. For the past 100 years, at 11am on the 11th day of the 11th month, we as a nation have stopped to remember the fallen. This year, Australians commemorated the 100th anniversary of the armistice of the First World War, a day of special significance marking a, a century since the weapons on the Western Front fell still after more than four years of horrendous carnage. Remembrance Day is a day to acknowledge the service and sacrifice of all Australians killed in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. But this year, on the centenary, we paused for a minute's silence as we reflected on the toll of the First World War in particular. We remembered the 150 servicemen in the World, World War I who once called Dunkley home and paid tribute at Frankston Memorial Park, where the final resting place is for over 200 ex-servicemen at the uh, cemetery in Frankston. Many who came from what is now known as Dunkley contributed at a young age to the defence of Australia and Australia's interests and have a rich military history. Sixteen soldiers from Frankston were killed in action in World War I and are listed on the honour roll at the Australian War Memorial in Canberra, and there are numerous recognised at the Frankston War Memorial as well. Langwarren Flora and Fauna Reserve also brings history to our doorstep, having hosted both a prisoner of war camp and a military hospital, contributing much to our knowledge in the form of research into wartime afflictions. Mr Deputy Speaker, most of us have stories of our own relatives or their friends and neighbours. 100 years may seem a long time ago, but it is only three generations for many of us. Both my father and my grandfather uh, served in the Australian Defence Forces based in the Mornington Peninsula, in the Army and the Navy respectively. Uh, I also mentioned in particular this year my great-grandfather who uh, served in World War I on the battlefields of France. He later, after the conflict, passed away from the effects of mustard gas poisoning uh, several years after the conflict, and my nana was the only child was put through school by legacy. Each year in my local electorate, uh, the community therefore honours the fallen across many days and many locations. I had the privilege of attending the Langwarren Community Centre Remembrance Service and also the Frankston RSL Remembrance Service. The Mornington RSL, Mornington Secondary College, Langwarren Naval and Memorial Club, Seaford RSL, the School Student Service and the Armadier Muslim Community also held commemoration services amongst others in my electorate. Uh, I also, at the time, was also uh, able to uh, announce the giving of an Armistice Day grant for the, for the housing of World War I memorabilia uh, for the Mornington and District Historical Society um, in, in their premises down in Mornington. Now, all these services recall the heroism, the pain, the sacrifices of those who have served this nation, and we must continue to honour the fallen and we must continue to serve the living. The best memorial is how we serve and support our veterans and our families who are with us each and every day. To our veterans and your families, we thank you and we remember you. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Thank you,